Good morning and welcome to Children's Chapel. I'm Pastor Tiffania. And I'm Miss Becca. And we are so glad that you're joining us here at Seminole Heights United Methodist Church for a great time of worship just for kids and their families. We're going to start with singing and dancing, so go ahead and stand up and sing and dance along with us. Those were some great dance moves. Now, can you sit down and put your listening ears on and listen to our Bible story? God's story, seeds in a farmer. So a part of God's story is about some seeds in a farmer. And it goes like this. Jesus traveled from town to town, teaching about God everywhere he went. Lots of people followed. One day, a huge crowd came to see Jesus. So many people that Jesus had to get into a boat while the people stayed on shore so everyone could see and hear him. Jesus helped people to understand what God is like by telling stories. We call those stories parables. That day, Jesus told this parable. A farmer went to his field to plant some seeds. Some seeds fell into a path. Before these seeds had a chance to grow, some birds flew in from out of nowhere and ate the seeds up. Some seeds fell into stones and rocks. These seeds started to grow, but their roots couldn't go deep enough to get water. And when the sun came up the next day, it burned up the plants. Some seeds fell among thorns. They grew, but so did the thorns, until the thorns got so thick they blocked out the sun and rain. Still, other seeds fell into good soil that was perfect for these plants to grow. These seeds grew into big, tall plants, and they made seeds of their own. And those seeds became big, tall plants too. Eventually, those seeds grew to produce many times what was planted. When he had finished, Jesus said, whoever has ears should listen. But not everyone who heard the parable understood it. The disciples came to Jesus and asked, why do you use stories when you speak to people? 
And Jesus explained that just because people hear information about God doesn't mean they understand it. But sometimes, when we hear a story about God, we can understand something about Him that we didn't understand before. Well, people must have still been confused because Jesus went ahead and explained the story of the seeds and the farmer. The farmer scattering seeds was like Jesus telling people about God's plan to rescue them. Remember the seeds that were eaten by birds? They're like the people who have heard about God's rescue plan, but didn't understand. They never got a chance to learn about God or start to follow Him. The seeds that fell into stones and rocks? These were people who heard and believed in God for a little while, but they gave up when following God was hard to do. Their faith wasn't very deep, like the roots of the plant weren't very deep. What about the seeds that fell among thorns? These were people who heard, believed, and started to follow, but they couldn't trust God with their whole life. Their worries and selfishness stopped them from growing, just like thorns blocked the plants from getting sunlight and water. And finally, the seeds in the good soil. They're the people who hear and receive Jesus' rescue, and then they follow Jesus, and their faith keeps growing no matter what happens in their lives. They grow strong and healthy and help other people to follow Jesus too, just like plants that grow and produce seeds to make other plants. Jesus wants people to know that it's not enough just to hear his words or stories. We can put our faith in Jesus and follow him. Basically, we have to trust God with everything and do what he says, even if that means some people don't understand us, or even if we get worried and make mistakes. And if you're watching this, that means you can trust God and do what he says too. And that's the parable of the seeds in a farmer. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Jesus told stories called parables. One parable is about seeds in a farmer. Some seeds were eaten by birds or fell among rocks or thorns. Some seeds grew in good soil. The farmer is like Jesus. People who put their faith in Jesus are like the seeds that grow. And that's a part of God's story. You had some really good listening ears. So in that Bible story, Jesus told a parable. And a parable is a story that has a lesson attached to it. So Jesus told this story about a farmer who had a whole bunch of seeds and he was just throwing them everywhere, left and right on the road, in the weeds, in the good ground, everywhere. Now, some of these seeds, they grew really big and strong, into really big and strong plants. Others, they didn't grow into plants at all. And others, they grew into plants, but the plants didn't last long because they were on the road and they got trampled and they couldn't form really good roots. So this teaches us about how our relationship with God can be. If we don't form really good roots with our friends and our families and have that relationship and prayer time with God, our, our relationship with him will fall away. Okay, I want you guys to get up and dance and sing a little bit more. You're watching Life Tree Kids. <laughs>
you all did a great job singing and dancing. Before we go, we're gonna take a little bit of time to pray together. So put your hands together and close your eyes and repeat after me. Dear God, I thank you for your love that's always there for me. Help me to share your love with my words and my actions so others can know you love them too. I pray for my family, my friends, my church, and my neighborhood. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you all so much for joining us this week for our Children's Chapel. We'll see you next week. We have a new video every Sunday at 930, and we have worship together in person and online Sundays at 1030. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.